Greetings, survivors. Here we are, pondering life's mysteries in the intimate company of the world's loneliest table. But as we gathered around this symbolic center of contemplation, little did we anticipate the twists and turns that awaited us in the frozen expanses of Namalsk. As we began our journey, optimism painted the horizon. Little did I know the harsh reality of Namalsk had a different plan. In the thrilling tale of my first demise, I thought I was the next Stacy superhero. Little did I know, bullets travel faster than my survival instincts. In my second attempt on survival, desperate to escape the relentless pursuit of the undead, I sought refuge in a seemingly safe shed. Little did I know the hungry horde had perfected the art of door demolition. Now as we huddle together, we've discovered a revolutionary survival strategy. The Namals culinary experience. Turns out, the easiest way to live here is to embrace the phrase, you are what you eat. Join us in the Namals Chronicles, where the table is our silent witness, the bullets are philosophical, and our taste buds are in for a wild ride. But before we delve into the frosty chaos, let's rewind to the very beginning of this adventure. Uh, I'll tell you what I can see. Uh, some kind of big ass, okay. A deer stand in the tall cell phone tower type of deal. Uh, does it have like a, is it really thin? Yes, really thin, three legs, or from what I can see, three legs on it. Go up to that real quick. There's a deer stand, oh shit, zombie. Yeah, there's, there's a deer stand right next to it. Yeah, I'm right there. Oh. I'm coming to rescue you. No, I'm joking. You'll be rescuing me. I'll kill the other zombie too. After meeting up with one friend, we decided to make a fire and then move on to find our next friend. Hearing an elk in the distance of no gun, I decide to take a chance. I'm going to see if I can't get close enough to hit this elk with an axe. After stalking my prey, I make my move. Come to find out, an axe is not a viable weapon to take down an elk. Hey, we're at the apartments. While running low on food, we found a pond to get our next meal. Is that a horse? Yeah. Whoa. Alright, I'm walking up to it. You should see a tent. If it's not you, I'm shooting. Hey, look for the fucking fruity colored teal thing. I see the tent. Go to the tent? Yep, that's you. Man, I'm so glad I wasn't aiming or nothing. <laughs> I was like, fuck. Oh, it's a water hole. Yep. Mm -hmm. After meeting up with our third friend, we decide to move out to go to the apartments. While showcasing my extremely horrible crossbow skills. Did you go talk? Uh, my net to you. Oh, she just ran in. I then realize just how blind the infected really is. Fire. We're gonna need it before long. Noah's attempt in survival before he met with us took him to some desperate times, which called for desperate measures. <laughs> Noah kept the remains of his latest victim because we knew we would be getting desperate. Logging back in for a new day, Noah had already secured our next meal. Yeah, that's that's the leg we're going for. <laughs> that leg be looking awfully tasty, but it doesn't. Hugging a little bit. We just had to go get it. The body despawned. Did it really? Yep. But the body was gone by the time we arrived. Like, yeah. Oop, it's close. Over toward the crane. While back at the apartments, we patiently waited and scouted for our next meal. Zombies across the street, they looked like they were doing something kind of funny. Our patience finally paid off when we saw two zombies chasing a survivor. That survivor may have gotten away, but it wouldn't be long until we saw another one skulking about. Player, player, player. 
at the uh, on the other side of those apartments. You might want to stay put. He looked like he was running. He ran from the uh, garages. You do? Yeah, he ran to the other uh, side, uh, other apartments. Hit him. After hitting the survivor, he took refuge in the tall apartments. We patiently waited for him to make his next move, and he finally showed himself. Uh, where? About second from the top on the right hand side balcony. Same place. I think he's gonna peek a bunch and then go down. He's just trying to find us. Hit him. Oh, uh, one, two, three, fourth window, <laughs> fourth story down. There he is again. Quit and twitch. fucking twitching. <laughs> Why is he doing the same thing? I'm starving. Oh Did shit, he? he can see me. Did he shoot at you? Yep. He definitely doesn't act like somebody that don't got a buddy. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking twitch. Yeah, he knows exactly where I'm at. I'm not peeking no more. After putting several <laughs> shots down range, he finally peeked his last time. Got him. He's down. To not lose this meal like we lost the last one, we took the risk and rushed over. This door's open? Yep. He did. Noah, not wasting any time, started to cut up the body. While we wait for this storm to pass, we realize that this storm truly represents of who we have become. After passing out to the storm and waking up to the blood-red fog, our bloodlust only intensifies. I'm not gonna lie, uh, camping this area and killing people here and then eating them is extremely satisfying. It's cruel. <laughs> it's cruel. No, this shit's fun. Noah found a megaphone and attempted to draw attention to our building to secure our next meal. Hey. Yeah. Bring, Bring that, that shit over here, here boy! <laughs> My <laughs> god! Let's, Let's do it. it! Only two kinds, kinds of people, people in this town. town. Me, and not, not me. me. And, and you, you ain't, ain't me. me. I'm passing out free bullets. You, you, may, get one, one, you may, may get one, you may get fifteen. fifteen. Kinda kind of depends on how bad I am at shooting. I'm, I'm willing, willing to trade a snow owl for food. I have a snow owl. I'm willing to trade for food. I give you the gun when you give me the food. Please and thank you. We make the exchange at the bottom of my building. Connor's impatience and boredom was on the rise. Come to the bottom story of my base, which is the tallest building in the city. I got shot at. Get the fuck down. Get the fuck down. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> That's, That's not, not very, very fucking, fucking nice. nice. <laughs> what happened? I got shot at. You fucking missed. That bullet hit the fucking wall behind me. I ran through the fire to get back in here. Ah! Don't worry. You done fucked with, with the wrong cow, cow motherfucker. Mammy. me. <laughs> Oh my god, I was going to try to tell you, I threw someone out the window. <laughs> oh my god, why didn't you just say that? And you're gonna let me talk shit over the fucking thing. Uh... I'm crying over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that scared the 
fuck out of me. I heard uh, that fucking thing hit to my fucking side of my head. I it ran inside. Door and it bounced out. <laughs> I didn't see it fly out. Dude, all I fucking saw was me running. Connor's like, payback for all the shit you've done to me. <laughs> I have a snow owl. I'm, I'm willing, willing to, to trade, trade for food. food. It has no, no ammo, ammo, but it is worth food. food. First story, story of the tallest building. building. I throw you the gun when, when you throw me the food, and then we go our separate ways. ways. Please and thank you. And all that megaphone talking finally paid off multiple times. Oh, I, I see a... player, I see player, I see player. Where? By the crane, he's heading to the apartment. Okay, the short crane, he just went on the first floor through the door. Okay, he's he's running across the street. He's heading by the tree. He he's on the yep. He's on the street. He's just standing there. He's shooting at me. Not anymore. He's not. He's dead. On our way out to secure the bodies, we realized that our gunshot lured some zombies. But little did we know that there was more than just zombies out there. I can try. I was squeaking. No. Yeah, you twitch. All right, we're gonna have to. I was tweaking. Wait, wait, wait! I think there's a player out there. Where? Down by the blue trash can. Blue trash can. Blue trash can. He's dead. Where the fuck's the blue trash can? Directly below us. I think I'm gonna go to the first body. What? Out, left, what? trash can. Just dipped. Oh, he's at the tattoo. He's at the tattoo. There's two of them. There's two of them. Yeah. Can we shoot them? They're fight. I, I can see them. They're both. They're buddies. They're buddies. Yep. They're you take your shot. I'll do whatever. You can. What? Oh, yeah, I just not realized. I'm not. I Ooh, haven't even. Did you see that? Start. Let's do what? I have a fire in the big building. If you bring food, I will allow you to come in and warm up. I will be willing to share my warmth for food. Need food. I will ask that you have no gun in your hand during the entire time for my safety and yours. After all of that megaphone talk, Noah finally gets a response. Hey man, I don't know if you can hear me, but what building? Big, big building. building. I'm, I'm on, on a big, big building, building, but you ain't here. Is the one across? No, no. Yeah. Uh, so possibly. possibly. It is the big, big tall building. building. All right. I, I think, think I see what you're talking about. about. You'd, You'd have, have to, to climb, climb up, up to get up, up here. here. Yeah, I see it now. I'm on the other big building here across from you. And I can, I can hear, hear you? you? Holy, Holy shit. shit. What can I say, boy? Got a nice megaphone. Nice, nice. nice. Mine's pristine. So is mine, man. We should compare. Oh yeah, we should compare more than megaphones. I like, I like where this is going. going. How about we meet at the school, school, if you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> but how about, how about we, we go to the school together? together? First, I'm going to head over there and uh, warm up some food, if you don't mind. He doesn't even know about it. Mean, you can go to the school first if you want. But I'm, I'm in the big, big building. building. That's, That's the big, big storm's, storm's coming in. I don't really want to climb down. Don't worry, sweetums. I'm on my way. <laughs> My man, I think you're running out of time though. You've probably got a couple minutes at best. Don't worry, babe. I'll make it for you. Hello there, my friend. Hi. I feel necessary. How's it going? Pretty good. They're up top. Let's go. Oh, they're up top. Oh, okay. I'm coming up. I'm coming up first. <laughs> Wait, who's laughing? Wait a damn minute. Hey! Some don't sound right. Yeah, the fire's just in here. Who's, who's laughing like that? Say it's your buddy. Uh, it's my buddy. He, uh, he started earlier, got desperate, and found a dead body. He hasn't been playing very long. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> 
I'm so sorry. <laughs> After killing our invited guests that day, we had an uninvited guest that night. Somebody's opening doors. Here? Yeah. Yeah, he's downstairs. He's downstairs. Right below me. You in the middle one? Yep. He has a light. He's downstairs. And mine? No, he's just downstairs. I saw a, a, a light of some sort. I don't know. I think he's in mine. He is. He is. I'll watch the steps. Uh, when you got peeked, yeah, peeked the stairs, right? Let me know he's, if he's still got a flare in his hand. He's coming up. Yeah, flare. He's coming in your room. Get him? Nope. He's gonna leave out the front door. No, it looked like he went back in, unless he dropped his flare. He probably dropped the flare. Get him, he's killing me, he's killing me. Are you downstairs? Yeah, yeah. Fire room, fire room. He dead. Okay, he did? I'm, down. I'm down here. Are you dead or is he dead? He dead, he dead, sorry. Okay. Oh man, that dude fucked me up. Not really. He got a few good hits in, but your boy's better at combat than he used to been. He was a fresh as fuck. That's why he ran in here like that. After Noah's encounter ended, our uninvited guest became a well-invited meal. With a new day upon us, well-rested and well-fed, our adventure continues. Hello? Is anybody, Is anybody out, out there? there? Zombie, I go across the street. Person. Where? Uh, garages across the street. Last garage, inside of it. The left garage? Last garage. See him? Yep. Is he, was he running on the road? Yep. Not anymore. After shooting the scavenger, me and Noah proceeded to go out and gather his remains. After cooking our newfound meal, we decided to move out to an apartment across from the hospital. While Noah and Connor scoped out the hospital, I went to the apartment next door to see if it had anything interesting. Upon my return to the apartment, I realized I was being followed by a very suspicious individual. Hey! Ah. Who the hell? You good? You good? Sorry, he tried to. Sorry, he picked he tried, it up and started to run. Do you see that? Run. Lagging like a motherfucker. That wasn't lag. There was no way. I can't. I ain't got nothing. Oh, well, hang on. Gotta get my kitchen knife out. Not thinking much about it, we continued to cut him up for our next meal and continued with our adventure heading over to the hospital. With me staying in the apartment as Overwatch, Noah and Connor moved out towards the hospital. Uh, you can go left. There's an opening by the car, but there's a zombie right there by the teeter-totter. Haggard. With some stealthy movements, Noah assassinates the unsuspecting infected. Yep, zombie after you guys. With another infected alerted to their presence, they use teamwork to take him out effectively. Making it into the hospital, they start calling out everything they find. Combat backpack. Arthur tablet. Oh, here's the fucking intercom system. All right, found morphine, some epinephrine. Connor's computer crashed. With Connor's computer crashing, he's done. That leaves Noah alone in the hospital. He blue screened. And me having to be extra vigilant. And he said he's done on Overwatch. I should come in view before too long. With Noah's last attempt to draw attention to our building before we logged off. Hey, hey. bring that over here. The unthinkable was about to happen. I think you're hunting an animal we could use to food. And karma. We'll share our cooking stove and fire. For our cannibalism. Haha, <laughs> what a bitch. Was going to come our way. But unfortunately, he's close as fuck. Our karma was not brought by an actual player. Oh shit, I'm dead. Where the fuck did he shoot me from? I don't see how he shot you though. I don't either. But instead, in the form 
Wait a minute. Of a hacking individual. No, your shit's gone. I can see him taking it. And he's shooting... Who could see? From the left. Through walls. Yeah, I look... I attempted to log out because there is nothing worse in a video game than dying to a hacker. He's shooting through the fucking wall. Yep. Did you die? If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and leave a comment. Let me know if something like this has ever happened to you. And if you aren't already, That's please hit that subscribe button. Awesome. And I'll see you next time.